Well, tonight, once again, we're looking through the lens with Republican and Mass Live photographers Don Trieger and Dave Roback. The subject this time, one of their favorites, high school sports. They say you're pretty much guaranteed some great shots and great faces when you're at a high school game or match. Gentlemen, always good to have you in. Good to see you guys. Great good to, to get in. you in out of the winter cold. Yes. Good to have you here. Let's take a look. You got sports pictures. Some really, really cool stuff. High school this sports time. pictures. High school sports, excuse me. It's important to make that differentiation. Well, it's the season now, Jim. It's the season. Well, that's all, well, yeah, but I think the first one we got, not this season. There it is. Okay. Don <laughs> Trigger, that's one of yours. That's, that's obviously baseball. Love that shot. That Thank is. Thank you. Great. This was last Take season. This was last season. I don't remember what, what game it was. Um, but baseball can be very difficult to shoot. Yeah. And if you keep your eye on the batter or follow the ball, you're not going to get your pictures. You have to know the situation. If there's a right-handed batter up, chances are he's going to pull the ball, hit it to the third baseman, hit it to the shortstop, and you got to pre-focus and get ready. And I got lucky. Exactly. And I, I love faces. I love yeah. eyes. I love faces in my sports yeah. photographs. And this, I think, sums it up. I mean, that's, that's great. He's, he's going for it. He's digging in. He's feeling that sand. Probably not feeling it that great. Another face. Another Let's face. Go. This is Who's, my photograph again. This, also, your Remember, shot. I love eyes. I love yeah. faces. I love yeah. tight sports photographs. And this was, a, there was no action here. This was a foul shot. She was, she was eyeing that hoop. I don't usually like to shoot foul shots. It's too easy. But I put a really long lens on okay. and got really tight. For our Shutterbug friends that are watching, what do you use and what do you do? I was there? under the basket. Okay. She was at the foul line. But I put a 300 millimeter lens on so I could get really tight and just fill the frame with her face. Yeah. Which to me makes a, makes a photograph. Very good. Let's go. We got another. Sp Again, this, this is amazing. This was mine as well. Uh, we're always looking for different angles. Yeah. Um, things can get boring after a while. We shoot so <laughs> much sports. Uh, so this, the camera went on the deck of the pool with a wide angle lens. Okay. And uh, just was trying to get a different angle. And I, I think it worked really, really well. But the amazing part to me is you get people in flight Right. And, and most of us, if I took that, everybody would be a smudge, a blur. <laughs> well, you have to know how to pre-focus and use the right shutter speeds, the faster shutter speeds. Even though the pools and gyms can get rather dark, we, we push our equip equipment to limits. And, we, you know, it's, uh, it works. Here we go. Now we got a Dave Roback photo. And oh. when I first looked at this one and clicked it up, I went, whoa, what's the matter here? And I said, it's called fastball. And there, and there it, it is. It's actually done on purpose. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Um, you're shooting through the backstop. Yeah. And it's also with a long lens. And on this one, I did pre-focus maybe six to eight feet in front of the plate. And we just tried and tried and tried until I got one that was sharp. It's almost like uh, a batter trying to hit hit a fastball. Yeah. You're trying to catch it at the right moment where everything is sharp. So. Good analogy. We got a few more pictures we want to get through before we run out of time. Girls hoop game. This one's Amazing mine. capture of the action there. Um, I, I don't know if it was Nike at one time said, uh, you know, you play like a girl. <laughs> These folks go all out. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of times we photograph underneath the basket at a girls' game, I don't like to, because a lot of times they play a lot more defense than the boys' games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So a lot of times I like shooting the action either at half court, at the top of the key on the other side. Yeah. And a lot of times there's jump balls and there's uh, loose balls, and that's when you get good photographs. Yeah, there's a lot more finesse in the women's games sometimes because they, you don't have the six foot eight people quite sure. as much. I, I love watching women's basketball yes. because you see some real basketball sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now I've just insulted every guy that plays ba basketball. Okay. But that's, I said it, they didn't. Okay, <laughs> men's basketball, and again, wow, what, what a great focus you've got there on action. It's, it's, Dave. it's the same thing as a, like half court. A guy was coming up court, and I don't know if it was near the end of the game. Usually at the end of the game, if the other team is down, they aggressively foul. I'm not sure if that's happened here, but, uh, you know, and sometimes... They grab shirts, and hopefully the referee won't see them. They, they try to be a little subtle. This was not the case. I love this shot. You got guys at every angle here. This one Don was one of mine. Yep, okay. this was one of mine. We shoot a lot of sports with very long lenses, 
So I was on the other side of the field for this one, wow. um, shooting the goalkeeper. The, you know, it was a breakaway towards the goal, and the action happened. And when you shoot with a fast enough shutter speed, shooting sports, you need to really stop that action. Um, you end up with a picture like this. It doesn't happen every day, but when it does, we were there to capture it. Love that one. Excellent, excellent. Now you're wrapping us up with a couple of pictures of, of champions, of winners. Championships, jubilation. jubilation. And uh, this was just this year, I believe. And, you know, they, they won the game. They got their trophy. You think you can go home, but no, because then they paraded around, and that's where the real pictures happen. The unbridled joy, as far as I'm concerned. And I held the camera down really low to just shoot up at them, and, and it worked. And it made a great picture in my mind. One final shot here of state champs. Look at that. It looks like one person's holding up the whole team there. <laughs> Dave, uh, yours? This, I believe, might have been overtime last year, and... It just, it was one of those, the game was played at Harvard, so we do travel a little bit to follow these high school yeah. teams. And this was uh, Long Meadow, and I believe they might have won in overtime, and, and when they play overtime, I believe it's uh, sudden death. So as soon as someone scores, everyone, and, everyone and everybody jumps around. Gentlemen, as always, pleasure and an honor to have you with us. Thanks for coming in. It's always Thank a pleasure. You. Thanks, Jim. Remember, buy a newspaper. Will do. We'll see you guys. Thanks. Thank you.